up, Salmon Squad? I am the Game Salmon, and welcome back to Boofy's Bunker. So, in the last video, we beat Ultimate Mode and we beat Artie's Memoir 100%. Now, there's still more for us to do in Boofy's Bunker, such as the Impossible Mode, but we're not gonna dive into Impossible Mode this video. As you may or may not know, I am one of the first people to complete Ultimate Mode for Boofy's Bunker and complete it 100%. So, I now am part of the Hall of Fame. Now, now, being a part of the Hall of Fame, I have the opportunity to create a challenge in Chaos Mode that'll be implemented into the game. So, this video is all about figuring out what my challenge is going to be. If y'all are excited to see what I am going to choose, please be sure to like the video, subscribe, go follow me on Twitch, and leave a comment down below. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I want to turn on a certain mode to make everything just a little bit crazier. What about lethargic mode? I mean, I do like the lethargic look. Everything is all nice and distorted with a beautiful yellow and blue. Um, gosh, let, let's let's see what this looks like in the Valentine's area. Maybe I'll like that. I, ooh, I actually like this a lot. Okay, um, I think that I entered the map with no creatures in it. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to get a feel for like what the map looks like and I actually do like this a lot The game does want me to collect 500 hearts. I think that's a bit unfair Especially since I know I'm gonna throw in a whole bunch of different uh, I almost said different animatronics. This isn't Five Nights at Freddy's I know I want to throw in a bunch of characters, but who might be best to throw in? Um, I don't think it would be very fair to throw in Gamla because, I mean, when, when you're in the Valentine's Day map, you want to be looking at, like, that little map at the top right-hand corner of the screen. I need to turn lethargic mode off. This is actually going to hurt my eyes while I search for characters. I kind of like the idea of throwing a bunch of the newer characters. Uh, maybe throw in the Tips and Tricks totem. Um, uh, do I want to throw in the Wee Wee? Or oi oi. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be wee wee. What if I then throw in, uh, that Bojan might be a little too fast, but let's throw in, uh, the kinetic image and Bojan over here, and then maybe, let, let's throw in Signa, that lovable hippo dog. Am I only able to pick the one with 500? Okay, here we go. Um, let me see if this, for one thing, is actually doable. Oh, you can see the characters on the screen. I think having the kinetic image after you is definitely an issue. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, it definitely is going to be a challenge. Oh, wow. This, this might be just too hard to just to constantly have something after you that knows where you are. I wonder what Fever Dream will look like in the Valentine's Day area. It's probably gonna be like super bright. And yeah, it's just oversaturation of the hearts, that's all. Asylum kind of looks creepy and weird in here. Um, the more I think about it, maybe I don't wanna actually use the Valentine's Day area. Valentine's Day is overrated anyways, and I only say that because I'm single right now. Maybe it's a good idea to do Christmas, maybe. Is this Christmas? It's too bright. Is this... Is this Christmas? Is this holly jolly time? Oh, wow. It is a green Christmas. Oh my god, the presents are actually very hard to see in the snow. I'm not sure how fair this is. Because that's part of the challenge. Like, this challenge needs to be actually doable. <laughs> maybe this will be part of the challenge. Like... Can you see the present in the snow? Like, there's a present right there. You just can't see it. See? I just picked it up. Okay, the fever dream is actually worse. At least the presents stand out very well. I just can't see anything. Why is everything so red? Maybe I could call this bloody Christmas. Okay, this I kind of like. It reminds me a lot of Slender Man. So throwing in the paranoia mode into Christmas. I don't remember this map at all, so um, I'm actually questioning my own ability to complete my own challenge. Whatever I make, I know I'm gonna have trouble beating it. 
I honestly don't know what combination I should throw into Christmas. I kind of want to throw in the oi oys. No, well, not the oi oys, the, the wee wees. Maybe throw in a little tips and tricks totem? I'm not sure. <laughs> This, uh, deciding on a challenge is actually so much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Okay, well, Fever Dream in the bunker is so much more red than I thought it was going to be. Well, at least the keys stand out very well. Oh my god. I kind of want to do something totally different than what's been done so far with, like, the Hall of Fame mode. So, I know that the people before me have done the best back rooms and the kitchen and they've also used the lethargic mode and the fever dream mode so i should stay away from those wait what if i go pure colorblind in boofy's bunker how unfair would that be oh yeah this is gonna be super unfair is this white is this yellow I don't know! Oh yeah, all the keys are going to look alike. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Should I do this? Should I be mean? Okay, part of this is I also have to choose enemies that are going to go in the whole Boofy's Bunker mode. So what, what enemies should go into Boofy's Bunker? I don't want anyone that can always know where you are, so I don't want to throw in, like, Signa. I don't want to throw in, um, uh, what's his name? Well, maybe I want to throw in the kinetic image, but, like, the slowest form of kinetic image. That way there's always the threat, so you have to keep moving while you listen to the keys. The problem right now is that this game is in colorblind mode, and I can't actually see what level each of these characters are so i'm going to turn off colorblind mode and i think blue is the easiest form so we're going to turn on kinetic image um and then look at some other options here what if i throw in blitz how dangerous is blitz i think blitz might only be dangerous if he sees you like i i don't really remember how he operates and i don't know like if he sees you if you're like automatically dead he'll just like zip to you so i don't know let's let's try him out does the kinetic image at this level start to speed up uh after a while actually you know what the kinetic image is actually a terrible decision because the kinetic image will follow me all the way up here so if i am up here activating a key but then turn around and then the kinetic image is right there. Can I run around you? Probably not, right? Can I run around you? Oh, I can! Oh, okay, maybe that's okay. What about Blitz? I, I actually have no idea what, oh, there's Blitz, oh. Okay, yeah, so if Blitz sees me, I'm dead. Okay, uh, hmm. <laughs> this, oh God. This is very difficult to actually piece together a challenge like this. Hello there. I kind of like the Wee Wee in Boofy's bunker. He's silent, but obviously deadly. Like, you can't hear him walk, so that... That is pretty menacing. Maybe I should make my game more about stealth. So maybe throwing in Wee Wee for one. Static image for two. Maybe even McHoyt for three? I actually just realized that I do have to pick out what level of the bunker that I want to throw in. I, I shouldn't make it excessively hard. I don't know I, if I should make it super easy. Maybe I should make it super easy because you have to listen a lot because this is totally colorblind. So you listen here, try to remember the sound, and now you go out to actually find what key you actually need to get which i think it might be this one yeah okay it is I'm, I'm glad my auditory processing is really good okay yeah i definitely recognize this sound this sound is red and because i've played boofy okay that was just static image because i played boofy's bunker so much i know where the red ones are i kind of like static image in this area <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Maybe, maybe this is more difficult than I think it actually is. Which is a good thing. I want there to be a difficulty element. Maybe the fact that you can't hear Wee Wee at all makes this that much more challenging. Oh my God, that is so loud in my ear. Please don't do that. Oh, 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 he was right there. See what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I, I think I can do this though. Okay, that's the red one again. I'm um, trying to remember where all my red spots are. <gasps> oh my God, see, there he is again. Oh my God, can you? You're headed this way. I'm gonna run around. Oh my goodness. I, I was about to ask if he could actually use like the vents, but I think only Boofy can actually use the vents. I really hope he's not back here. If he's back here, I'm so dead. I think I saw the red one though. Wee wee, you're not back here, right? Here's the red one. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, here's the red one. No sign of the wee wee. I think I only have one more key to go since I'm just playing this on easy mode. All right, that's the sound. Okay, right here. Um, yeah, this mode is too easy. I've created a mode that is too easy. Okay. Um, I need I need to add more threats into this if I'm gonna use this as a mode. Yeah, see, here I am escaping. Okay. After, after what, two tries? That's too easy. I'm worried about making it too hard though. I like, I don't wanna make this impossible. Like I don't, I like this concept of having to listen for the keys, but what, what do I do around that that hasn't already been done? Part of me wants to go back to Christmas and I'm thinking to throw in the oi oi, I mean the wee wee, the wee wee, um, and then also throw in a bunch of different obstacles that could get in your way, like tips and tricks, uh, bury the bear, um, oh gosh. Maybe the static image and then McCoyt and then go from there. That way maybe you have a reasonable chance of getting around and completing everything, but also you have to make sure that you're avoiding everything that could possibly show up in front of you as you're trying to run away from the heart demon. I have not yet been spotted by the heart, so maybe I need to make sure to include more hearts, you know, to make it fair for the heart to actually see me. You know what? I'm going back to the colorblind idea and I'm throwing the wee wee, the, um, the static image, the McCoyt, um, throwing in a how to play rock radio, and then I'm throwing in a Boofy. Now, let us try to beat the easy mode of Boofy's bunker. Maybe now it's going to be hard enough if I have a Boofy running around trying to kill me. See, that is that is much more threatening. Here <laughs> Okay. Well, already it's much more threatening, but... <laughs> Let, let me jump back in there. Okay, listening for the sound, and now I am going to find the key. Now, in this mode, I can run however much I want, as long as I'm not... Oh, thank God you turned that way. As, as, as long as I am not holding a key. Oh my God, I got scared! I might be okay. Might be okay. Oh no, okay. All right, I'm, I'm glad I made this a bit of a challenge. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh man, going, going into the basement in Boofy's bunker is never a good idea. Okay, um. I just beat easy mode, but it's still too easy. So maybe, should I up the difficulty of the characters or should I increase the difficulty of the level? I think I should increase the difficulty of the level because um, there is a little bit of luck involved into beating this mode that I've created just because you cannot hear the wee wee. 
So I think it would be unfair for me to throw more Wee Wees in there. I think it might be appropriate to throw in more static images. I think that's appropriate. Maybe more McCoits, I guess? How to play Rock Radio. And then I don't mind throwing in one hard boofy. That's what she said. Okay, this right here should be the medium boofies bunker. Okay, let's let's give this a shot. Okay, good. It's just how to play rock radio. I don't care about how to play rock radio. Just it's enough to scare me a little bit. Is that boofy? Ah, that's, my, that's a real boofy! That's a real boofy! Run! Where am I? What just happened? What 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 is this? What is this? What is this? Did I break the game? What? <laughs> what? I broke the game and beat it. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little worried now that, um, I have to roam around a little bit more to collect even more of these keys. Maybe, maybe now it's a little too hard, but that's the point. I'm, I'm trying to push myself into creating the most challenging yet beatable mode possible. Oh my god! Why, hello, Boofy. Maybe I want to stay with the easy bunker, but maybe add in another Wii Wii. That would make the game a little bit more luck-based. But it'll still annoy the crap out of ya. Alright, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna throw in two Wii Wiis. Throw in How to Play Rock Radio. Give me two static images. Um, give me... Give me two McCoits. And then a Boofy that is only on hard mode because the main focus is going to be the Wee Wees. Okay, now I'm a little scared. I am very scared of the Wee Wees. So, um, hey, but there's only four keys. So if you're quick, if you're listening uh, to the sound of the keys and the door, I mean, that's, that's what I'm trying to focus this mode on. Can you recognize the auditory sounds from the keys. Oh, and you also have unlimited run just in case you are spotted by the Wee Wees. And I think I ran into the static image. Oh my God, oh my God. See, this is why it's good to have unlimited sprint. So hopefully- Oh, and I just ran into the other Wee Wee. Okay, see, now, see, now I'm on to something, okay. Oh my god, this is, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be all sorts of fun. What's going on, buddy? How long does the Wee Wee chase me? That is what I do not know. Hopefully he's not chasing me. Fro! Oh, 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 the other one still found me. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh, and then I died to the static image. Okay. I, no, I'm on to something here. Okay, I'm very happy that I'm dying a lot, but quickly, but like I only have four keys to find. That's, that's okay. I'm okay with this. No. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. No, give me your loving. Okay, okay, all right. I'm getting lucky. That's good. That's two keys. That's just the how to play rock radio. Okay, is that number three? It's not number four, is it? Oh, dude, no, it's not. Okay, I was about to say. All right. One more to go. One more to go. Okay, this is this is totally doable. Got it. Let me win. Let me win. Oh, my God. I think I just proved that this one is totally beatable with what I just set. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. And win. Okay. That is beatable right there. Do I want to make it even more challenging? Can I do that? Am I insane? Yeah, I'm insane.
<laughs> I did it. I did it with three oi oi's in the map. Oh my god, you guys are gonna hate me. Oh, I just made it harder. All right, so I am going to leave my challenge at that. Three on oi oi, uh, one on the how to play rock radio, two on static image, two on McCoyt, and then one on the boofy way back here in colorblind mode in the easy bunker. Boom, that is my challenge. That is going to be the end of this video. Um, in the next update to Boofy's Bunker, um, this area, the Hall of Fame, is going to be updated and it's going to have my picture in here and when you click on it, it'll actually throw you into my challenge and so you wouldn't have to click all the buttons that I was clicking just to get to my challenge. I hope I didn't end up making it too difficult. Um, I think it's very manageable um, and I think it's an interesting challenge because it's uh, I mean, it's very similar to Dave Microwave's challenge, but it's kind of, think of it like a harder version of Dave Microwave's challenge. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, and the next time we play Boofy's Bunker, don't worry, we are going to dive into the impossible mode, which is gonna be so fun. Be sure to click on the end cards at the end of this video in order to watch more videos just like this one. Like and subscribe if you have not already done so. I love you all so much. Go out there and make someone's day. Be happy, stay happy. I'll see you guys later, goodbye.